Hello, new wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. It's the morning of the 12th of December 2020. Uh, before we look at Incubus and Lost Souls, if, if I may make the usual opening plea for a favour, and that's that if you would subscribe to the channel, please, that'd be excellent and, and appreciated. Anywho, Incubus, uh, another another band from way back in the original new wave of British Heavy Metal days that had all the talent, all the ability, but not the breaks. And thanks to obscure Nawabam releases, They've put out a uh, limited edition CD, there's only 500 of these, uh, of, of some Incubus stuff from back in the 1980s. Uh, there's a link underneath to um, that the, the album is still seems to be available on No Remorse Records in Greece. Uh, I, I got mine from Sonic Age Records, as I normally do, but they appear to have sold out. But uh, as, I'm, as I'm recording this, it is still showing as available on No Remorse, so I've put a link underneath in the description if you want to go and check it out before maybe their run so sells out as well. Anyway, Incubus, right? They, they, they formed at Exeter University uh, in 1980. They followed the usual template. You know, they, they, they worked hard around the local area, performing live and, and trying to get noticed, but didn't, didn't really get any further than that, which is a shame because when you listen to the, this stuff here you, you'll, you'll wonder why they weren't i mean another another great band from back then that had all the talent all the ability but but didn't get noticed unfortunately but on on this cd we've got a, a three track demo that they cut i think it was 1982 then we've got a, a four track session that was engineered by none other than peter banks the ex yes guitarist and then the real the real jewel here is is a, a, a recording from a live performance at Exeter University where they, they really show what muscle they've got, Incubus. The H2 demo starts with Lost Soul. That that's a really really cracker of a track, a bit of quirky drumming going on there as well, plenty plenty to like. Um and that that indeed was was liked at the time too. If if those of you that are quite old like me remember sounds, the old music paper. I miss that, reading that every week. But Sounds had a heavy metal chart and um, Lost Soul was flying high in that. I think it got size number two. Then we've got in, in on the demo the ballant of Clint Pantella, which is a, a really excellent sort of brooding, sort of heavy affair. Some really excellent guitar work going on. And then The Way of the World rounds out a fine trio of songs there. The Banks session ramps it up a little bit further. Uh, not least the really, really excellent Battle Cries which is a, a sort of a haunting, spooky riff intro with, with some military-style stair drum going on. And then it, then it, it, it builds in gradually into a, a really excellent seven minutes long of, of driving riffs, some, some fine guitar work. The changes of pace, uh, atmospheric, really, really, really well arranged and performed. After the bank session comes that gig from Exeter University, and it, it really is superb. You know, highlights are amongst the performance of highlights, the live versions of Lost Soul and Losing Hold from the demos come out really well, really powerful stuff. Broken Promises has a sort of a nice melodic feel to it, and Battle Cries, the, the, the live version of Battle Cries, is, it really, really is powerful stuff. You've you got to listen to that to believe it. Then we've we've got songs like Tell Me Who, So Long, Waiting for Love Again, all all superb stuff, plenty of feel amongst the power going on, plenty of nuances and, and the guitar breaks uh, they remind me in places somewhat of um, sort of a wishbone ash Andy Powell style to it. Really good stuff. The only thing here that doesn't work for me, and this is something that's a personal gripe here about covers in general, um in Incubus do their version of Free's classic Wishing Well. They try and keep it as close to the original as they can, but the, the issue we've got there, of course, is how, how can you get anywhere close to Paul Rogers' vocals or Paul Kossoff's guitar? You can't, can you? They tried the best. It doesn't work for me, but don't let that detract from the rest of it. There's 15 other tracks on this CD that will blow you away. That's how good they were. So, again, but unfortunately, Incubus didn't have the breaks, and, and that is a shame. If you can get your, your hands on a copy of Lost Souls before the entire 500 run 
is sold out, I would suggest you do. As I mentioned back at the start of the video, that, that my usual route of Sonic Cage Records, where I got mine from, it's not showing on their website, it's available. But I have looked around and it is, as I record this, 12th of December 2020, still showing on No Remorse Records in Greece. I've bought from stuff from them before, they're, they're reliable. So I've put a link in the description underneath the video to the, the album directly back on No Remorse Records. As always, there's a link back to the post on the website if you'd like to read that. And the usual sign off, if I may, of a, a, re a reminder to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that'd be appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and take care.